China. 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 China now. China. China. You know, China. I know China very well. China. 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 Northwest Wisconsin, where I'm from. It's China to me. China. China, 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 China. You want to buy from China? That's great. Buy from China. Buy toys from China. China in particular. China, China. I don't even know how to work this microphone anymore. It's been a while, but I'm back. The Moon Wrecker here, episode number 350 of the UFO Buster Radio Report. I just realized that there's a few people out there. My, uh, my voice is a little hoarse for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I realized that a lot of people don't know about the uh, Dark Horde podcast because last week it uh, I accidentally, well, after three reboots, Bill Gates... That's why you're off the damn the board. That's why you're off the board. Because after three reboots last week, I had to set up perfectly, right? You know, we're dealing with these updates from Microsoft, and they're just fucking things over constantly. But, you know, that's why Bill Gates left. He had no choice. But after the third reboot, I finally was able to get the podcast information in there for the episode of The Dark Horde. And lo and behold... I guess resetting the system put everything back to your UFO Buster Radio. And so basically, it the Dark Horde episode recorded on UFO Buster Radio, and I actually couldn't move it to the Dark Horde podcast. So everyone who uh, was not aware of the podcast, you know, the Dark Horde, uh, pretty much got an earful of it. And I couldn't move it over because apparently iHeart... Doesn't like that. Doesn't like you to move shit over once you say that it is what it is. So there you go. It is what it is. I got a couple messages. Uh, people asking, "Hey, um, what's the dark horror? For reals? Like you have not been listening to any of the episodes up until then? Come on, really? That's just crazy. The dark horror podcast. We talk about you and I, and maybe some uh, reports." Maybe some historical stuff. Something to fucking talk about. Except for this coming Saturday. For reasons that I'll share in a moment. In a moment. Not a Mormon. Uh, in a moment. And that is that um, it's everything else in the paranormal category. You know, UFOs and aliens have taken their own, you know, situation of sorts. You know, because it is a pseudo science of what people think is a real thing. But, you know, the same thing goes with ghosts and demons and cryptids and everything else. So I don't even know how the fuck it got into its own category. And people don't even consider it part of paranormal, but it fucking is. However, we are dedicated to space, science, kind of goof it up once in a while. I don't know. I talk about it, but who knows? Uh, and aliens. So this is what this podcast is about. The Dark Horde is about everything else paranormal. Cryptids, ghosts, spirits, poltergeist, uh, all the other shit that you usually... Don't talk about on a regular basis when it comes to UFOs. Now, I know there's a lot of podcasts out there that do that. They just mix it all together. And I'm okay with that. But to me, you know, aliens and UFOs and Elon Musk should be on their own podcast for the love of Pete. I just want to say uh, what's up to the folks that are in the live chat. Dave and Greenman, uh, welcome aboard. As always, this is the core crew. And you, if you guys have not... Had a chance to uh, interact with them. 
Look at the first link in the description. That is the Discord uh, group chat uh, in which everything, including the podcast, is talked about in that particular link. So uh, I'm on it all the time, to be honest. Uh, These guys are funny as hell. The last week has been all about the coronas, the coronavirus. It has taken, it pretty much has taken up my entire life. It feels like. It feels like everything is coronavirus. COVID-19 has taken over everything. I get up in the morning. I turn on the news. Before I go to bed, like right after this podcast, I'll probably go watch the news just for a little bit. Just to see what's going on. It, it's it's like a train wreck. It's a car wreck on a highway. You just have to like, you have to stop and look. You You can't help yourself. It is how strange how a few weeks ago it was, everything's going to be cool, don't worry about it. Uh, You know, yesterday, 18-month pandemic. How quickly things change. It is the weirdest, surreal thing to uh, go out there and uh, try to find toilet paper. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Of all things, toilet paper. Uh, but now it's, we've gone past that, right? Because earlier in the week, it was the TP Wars. It's like the Walking Dead. Like I said on the Dark Horror Podcast, you're going out there, you get your shotgun, you get your gun, you get your machete, uh, your samurai sword, and your dreadlocks, and you go out there, and you're going to go into a Walmart, and you're going to take some fucker out for that toilet paper. But now, uh, it's beyond that. It is completely beyond that. Now it's everything. Like I literally went uh, a few hours ago to the local store. Half the fucking place is empty. But it's never been so full. Like, I mean, there's wall-to-wall cars. You literally, it's, it's like you need a valet to find your parking spot. But the shelves are, are emptying pretty fast. And why? I don't know. A green man says uh, he bets that they'll shut down the nation. There are rumors going around the internet that there is going to be a two-week shutdown of the country. People are going to be asked to stay at home. You may go out to shop for food like they just did in California about, uh, what, three or four hours ago. They just announced that. Get your asses home. Don't go anywhere. Because there was a bunch of kids out uh, at the beach having a good time. You're spreading it. You are spreading it, dude. You really are. But this podcast is not about COVID-19, the coronavirus. It's not what it's about. We got a couple of things to talk about, to be honest. Uh, conferences. How? What's going on with these conferences? All these great conferences uh, dedicated to aliens and UFOs and space and stuff like that. What's happening to them? Because the coronavirus is fucking killing everything. Why not a UFO conference? Why not kill that off too? Just go ahead, Corona. Rubber dick everyone. And then we have another article in here which um, should be quite fascinating for some of you. But before we get to that one, um, yeah, SpaceX did it again. Another 60 satellites Gone. Up in the sky. By the time we get done being sequestered in our homes for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, three months, there will be uh, probably half the damn constellation, the whole Starling constellation, is going to be up there. And we're going to come out and all we're going to see is like pixels in the sky just moving around. Yeah. Yeah. The world, your sky is going to change. Elon doesn't give a fuck about Corona. COVID-19, he gives no fucks. He he wants his stuff done. <laughs> and he's going to have it done. He doesn't care if his people fall over from a little fever and a cough. No, fuck that. You, <laughs> you put that shit on the rocket, you make it go. Go fly bye-bye. Check out this track and we'll get into our conference details.
Ronnie Dawson is in the live chat right now. Yeah, by the way, Ronnie, I was talking about you the other day. Now, actually, somebody said, uh, would Ronnie come on my podcast? I said, listen, Ronnie Ronnie goes where the action's at. So he'll go on the podcast and um, he'll be there. He'll be there if you open the door and let him come in and tell his story and be truthful about what he's saying and, and just don't, don't bug him about it. He'll talk about his story and then you guys can, uh, you know, chat about it. And it's uh, the funniest thing. And here he is, Ronnie Dawson. Uh, he's waiting for his corona to arrive. Go figure. Of course he would. The first story we're going to talk about has to do with these UFO conferences. Now, you think, if you can't even leave your house, especially in California. I mean, you guys in California, you guys are fucked. You you are tied to your home. Yeah, you can go get some food, but there's no fucking food. <laughs> it just sounded like a Conor McGregor. No fucking food. There's no food to buy. You've got you no food, no toilet paper, nothing. You can just forget about it. You're going to find a place in your backyard with a tree um, where you can like go over there, uh, dig a hole, and take care of your business. At least for the next however months. 18 months maybe at the most. Uh, but yeah, you guys in California, you guys got to chill out at home forever. You're stuck like Chuck. Let's face it. But uh, in thinking about that, I was like, wait a minute. There's a lot of conferences. UFO conferences, paranormal conferences are happening. They don't wait till like the end of the year. They happen throughout the year. One of the more famous ones of these uh, forums, I guess you can call it a forum because you talk your shit, right? This is where uh, these guys go in. They write their books. They do these research. They spend their entire lives searching the holy grail of UFOs, or they rewrite every fucking story they ever heard. 
in their own perspective. Like, no one really gives two fucks about that, but that's just what they do. But they got to go to these places. They got to go to these UFO conferences to sell their shit. And uh, if it's not happening, it's not happening. And that's what's not happening in Edinburgh, Texas. Now, I, I was actually kind of like bummed because I was thinking, fuck, Edinburgh, Texas, that's like a hop, skip away. When I say hop, skip away in Texas, that's about four or five hours. But it's still a hop, skip away. I was like, great, I'll be able to check out Edinburgh this year and uh, be part of the crew. Go down there and uh, have some fun. Well, yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, old Edinburgh has been postponed due to COVID-19. Doesn't that suck? Isn't that terrible? Apparently, uh, folks are thinking, listen, it was supposed to happen the first weekend in April. And um, they were saying, no, we don't want to take a chance because we don't want any infected fuckers coming in here and screwing up and killing everyone in about two weeks. Uh, after they get together. So no, we're not going to do it. We're not going to get down with this. We want our UFO people to come back next year. So we're not going to have this conference canceled. Well, not canceled, postponed. What they're hoping to do is to get together in uh, the second weekend of August. I believe the actual date, the dates, the range of dates, because, you know, they're big. Edinburgh is big. August 13th through the 15th, three-day festival to, uh, I guess, come back again in August. But, I mean, really, the way I see this, it might not even happen in August, to be honest. We, we might, listen, guys in Edinburgh, you just give it up. Forget about it. Wait till next year when we figure out what this bug is for real. Because if they're telling you, there's going to be an 18-month epidemic, I'm sorry, pandemic. Forget about it. Just give it up. You can uh, save all your stuff for next year. No one's going to be mad at you. Shit, we can't even get groceries. What the fuck? We're okay. You'll be okay. Uh, what they're planning uh, at the three-day festival, if we're around to go to it, uh, is basically uh, things like, of course, we got speakers from the shows like Ancient Aliens and Fact or Faked. Also, there's going to be a bunch of activities like a planetarium, a tinfoil hat station. Come on, we'll go in there. Listen, you guys who listen to the show, you guys can make some serious tinfoil hats. I know you'll be there for that. Uh, tinfoil hat contest station, whatever. Uh, vendors, autopsy room. For those that already kicked the bucket, you can go in there and examine them. And uh, costume contest and 3D mapping experience. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what they're going to map. But these are different things that they're talking about, and including to all of that goodness. Actually, it's here's some thunder outside. Uh, out of this world music and lights sound show. Are you serious? How exciting is that? Now, this all was inspired by an incident that happened in 1966 in North Edinburgh, Texas, that is where nine witnesses saw a flying object strike their vehicle. <sighs> this, is, this is actually what it says. I, I don't know. Like, if it struck your vehicle, I bet you would see it. I don't see why that's a big thing. But anyway, that's what the Edinburgh uh, story is about. That's where it all originates. And uh, if you guys had tickets, please hold on to your tickets till August. I don't even know. The article really doesn't say if they're giving refunds for April and have people restart this shit all over again. But I'm sure if they just moved everyone over, you have an opportunity to cancel it because you're probably going to Roswell. You're probably one of the lucky few, like myself, who plan to go to Roswell. Roswell, New Mexico. Because that is where the, uh, the shit went down. That's where people feel like that's what started things, was the Roswell incident. The, <laughs> uh, you know, some people just have to be happy. I mean, you, you just got to, like, stare Corona in the eye and be like, no, I will have my abduction. 
the folks that are putting together the annual New Mexico event at uh, Roswell saying, uh, we're going to continue on. Everything is good here. We want you to come down to our festival. Ronnie Dawson is actually one that made it to the festival. I think it was uh, the year before or last year. Uh, he had a lot of pictures, talked to some people, even gave out some uh, UFO Buster Radio merch to a few folks. But Ronnie, I don't think this is going to happen. Though these guys, the uh, the Roswell Conference Festival people say that it's still going to happen. I don't know. I think they are being way too positive about the uh, COVID-19. And here's the reason why. Apparently, Roswell, New Mexico has zero cases of COVID-19. Not a single one. So they feel great. They're pounding their chest because they don't have breathing problems. They're good to go. So we're going to... Folks, you guys in uh, Roswell... You're inviting people over to your town from all over the country. And the rest of the country is not so hot right now. Do you really feel like it's a good idea to have this conference? I don't know. I think I've been watching the news too much because I'm all about everybody just stick your ass in your house. Stay there. Even if you don't have toilet paper, nobody gives no fucks about that. Just keep your (laughs) infected ass in your house and don't go nowhere. That's the way I feel about it right now. I've been watching it too much. It turns out the uh, the mayor, Dennis uh, Kintik, gosh, please, where is he from? Uh, it says the city so far has no positive cases of COVID-19. So despite all the craziness, we will continue. The show will go on. Ain't nobody infected going to go to your uh, little shitty ass UFO crash town. I'm saying that, but I might show up. Uh, so basically, uh, we had a, a situation here. What it was? Uh, what was it? Oh, Main Street Roswell board member Molly Boyles says that the organizers are still a go, but will only cancel and postpone if the government agencies recommended. See, all of a sudden. All of a sudden. No one wants people to go to Roswell and discover the truth. So yes, the government will close your asses down. Guaranteed. Uh, and that's the way it goes. It turns out that Boyles is also the owner of uh, Once Again Consignment and Resale. I mean, what a great thing to have someone who is re- reselling shit in the neighborhood. Uh, also running the Roswell Festival. Uh, yeah. Like, what do they do now with the uh, coronavirus? Do, you, do they have a special treatment for all these uh, consignment items? That's what I want to know. So I will not be going to your store, Miss Boyles. Not buying all that infected shit. For reals. But there you go. So hopefully uh, the Moonraker will make it over to Roswell because they don't give no fucks. They don't care if uh, anybody else is infected as long as they're clean. But I have a feeling that's not going to last too long. Not very long at all. Let's check out this track. And uh, hey, uh, this thing's having a meltdown right now as I try to pick a track. Probably sounded all crazy too. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down But we 
get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I will ever figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high. I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. You guys in uh, New Mexico, Roswell, that is. You you really should go a little bit uh, to the south and uh, break off some of those walls that were put up by the by the Trumpster. Break off, yeah, just break them off and surround the town and keep that COVID out. Keep it out, right? <laughs> Don't get sick. Don't contract the COVID. Because the show must go on. This story comes out of a a really strange place. Some place where, for the longest time, I would read that this place was uh, dead in the water. Like nothing good was happening here. Like the place was just, just nothing. It's a regular place. A regular place where you can go and make a homestead out of. Get some uh, horses, some livestock. And just be a cowboy. Just live your life out, just uh, chewing on straws while you rode off into the sunset. But apparently that's not the case. The name of this article, actually in Newsweek, of all places, Skinwalker Rancho and reveals UFO hotspot is wired with sensors and cameras. I know it's not a Deuce Bigelow, the Space Gigolo. That's that's not the guy. And it's funny, like, all these things always go back to Deuce. But it's probably because he has a shitload of money, right? So he doesn't give two fucks. He throws his money around, gets what he wants. And, of course, we know that this is part of uh, the whole ATIP situation, the government money that uh, initiated a lot of research. It went into, uh, some of it went into Skidwalker Ranch. But the uh, the property was sold. It was sold to one very fortunate individual back in 2016, Brandon Fugel, 46 year old. He's a, U- a Utah real estate tycoon, another rich fucker. He purchased Skinwalker Ranch, which apparently it's 512 acres, which he picked up from a. Uh, Robert Bigelow, as we like to call him, Deuce Bigelow, the Space Gigolo, who at the time, as we know, through his uh, little scientific exploration team called NIDS, was trying to figure out what the hell is going on. What is all this crazy crap that's going on at Skinwalker Ranch? If you read the article, which is linked in the description, um, Fugel who spoke to Vice, goes into the whole description of how he came across the property, how by chance he was able to make a connection through other folks who are also in the uh, the realm of 
the ufologicals, how he made a connection with them, and um, he got his uh, his chunky little hands. But uh, the guy's not chunky. I'm just saying chunky. His chunky little hands on uh, Skinwalker Ranch. Now, the funny thing about this is that uh, he likes to collect memorabilia from movies and, and things like that. Uh, and you'll see everything that he collected. It's in the. It's actually in the article itself. Um, but the funny thing is that there's a quote from Vice that Fugel gave, and it goes a little bit like this. Science and discovery are what drive me. It's not money. <laughs> First lie. Did somebody hear the buzzer go off? Bang. Yeah, you lied. Uh, it's not that I'm obsessed with UFOs or little green men or cattle mutilations or shape-shifting demonic entities. Huh, could have fooled me. I have no idea if aliens exist. You'd have to ask them. And that's a quote from Fugo. So why the fuck would you buy this property, really? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of properties out there that don't have all this fucking baggage. None of it. Fugo has gone on and he, he installed, like, sensors and cameras. Oh, my in order to collect data. And he's collecting footage of actual anomalous aerial phenomena. There's even evidence of anomalous injuries, like people are getting their asses kicked while they're there. Probably not the way I said it. Maybe a couple of scratches here and there. You know, you see that shit on fucking ghost stories. And ghost hunters, they walk in and they get all scratched up. Which they probably do to themselves, like wrestlers. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Uh, there's also a transient EMF um, testing, which uh, is unexplained electrical phenomena. They've even had <laughs> numerous UFO sightings. And here's the one thing that yeah, even we talk about around here is like when you buy a property... I think there's like, a, I don't know, it's like three years or five years where if someone uh, checks out on your property, they have to let you know about it. They have to disclose it, right? You don't want to go in there and be like, oh, this guy uh, who owned the house, you know, he he killed over on the toilet. So if you hear some strange thing, you know, you might want to consider that before you buy it. But if it was, if it was like, you know, six years ago, you know, there was like a fucking uh, a cult in your the house you're trying to buy and they... Freaking like 50 people died and it didn't make the news and you're fucked when you buy the property. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but basically, what I'm getting to is the fact that uh, good old this big old space jiggle did not disclose to Fugle what they discovered at Skinwalker Ranch. Because you know the story was that Skinwalker Ranch died out. People were thinking, maybe this uh, is dying now because it happens in in cycles, you know, the stars got to align right before the shit goes crazy at Skinwalker Ranch. But maybe it didn't die out. Maybe a Deuce Bigelow, the Space Jiggle, had plenty of data to go on and it was time to move on. Either way, what we're hearing from this article and the actual interview on Vice.com is that Skinwalker Ranch is not dead. The situations are still happening. It's still a good place to go hang out. Uh, but it was funny because when Nids was there, there were reports that the place was guarded. Like you could not get in there back then. So I wonder if Fugo is doing the same thing. I wonder if Fugo is going to share all of this. Uh, apparently I heard from one of the guys in the, uh, in the group chat on Discord was that uh, apparently... There's a film coming out. And uh, Fugel's experiences and things like that is a a pivotal part of that story. As well it should be. Because it's more current. He's seen some shit. <laughs> as they say in the movies. He has seen some stuff in there. For sure. Fugel believes that uh, this particular endeavor that he's taken over as the uh, as and many others, because he's he's done some stuff when it comes to science. Because, uh, like he said, he likes investigating stuff like this. 
He says that uh, it is the greatest science project of our time. He is committing significant resources to uncovering what, if anything, is happening at Skinwalker Ranch. He, quote-unquote, intends to eventually release peer-reviewed reports uh, about Skinwalker Ranch and what's going down. Uh, Hopefully. Like, I did see one shitty-ass little report from uh, Skinwalker Ranch that, I don't know. I don't know if somebody got it from somebody, but it's all over the internet from NIDS. But it barely gives you, as they say, the skinny on what was happening at Skinwalker Ranch. Hopefully, Fugle will share a little more because with all the surveillance stuff he's got going on, he should have some more information. The link for that story is in the description and actually within that link, there is also the uh, original link to the Vice.com interview. And uh, let me tell you, the Vice.com interview, it's, it's pretty long. So there's plenty of information. You get to really know how Fugel finally connected to get to Deuce Bigelow, the space gigolo, to purchase the property. So, let's see what happens. Hopefully, we won't be kept in the dark, at least not for uh, not for too long. By the way, the guys uh, in the uh, group chat here are talking about uh, things that go, everything Skinwalker, apparently. Uh, Greenman says that the History Channel is getting a new show together, and it's going to be called uh, Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. And there you go. I mean, that might be it. Fucking goddamn channel. They, they are all about everything UFO now. 
Like, you know, they got rid of all the ghost shit. Well, well, they haven't. The ghost shit is still there. But the new thing is UFOs. So, hashtag, gotta love it. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Dave says he's a wannabe nerd, tryhard geek, uh, first world problems. Yeah, aren't we all, basically. But Ronnie says only nerds do peer reviews. <laughs> Uh, by the way, his son is a nerd. In case, hey, by the way, uh, Ronnie, let him know that you outed him on the podcast, calling him a nerd and stuff. And really, Ronnie Dawson needs to join the Discord link that is in the description. Ronnie Dawson, click on it right now, log in, and join everyone, and your son can be in there too. I think the cuss words kind of taper off after everybody gets sober. Uh, the other thing I want to say is, I know I made a few jokes regarding you know, the whole situation with uh, COVID-19, the coronaviruses, uh, you know, is a serious situation. This uh, fucking thing is out of control. And as much as people want to give the illusion that they've got answers, they've got zero fucking answers. Now, what is the, the weird thing to me is there are a few people are alluding to one conspiracy. China. And that China. is that this particular place. China, 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 China. Uh, fucked up on some kind of a bioweapon and uh, shit went wrong. There is also another article that uh, uh, Dean Koontz, back in the 80s, wrote a book regarding, um, you know, this type of situation, freaking crazy-ass virus and pandemics. And he actually picked that city in China, Wuhan, Qinghai. I don't even know what the hell it is, Wu Hill, some shit like that, uh, Wu something. Uh, and it turns out to be the place where everything originated from in that book. Um, I was going to put the article in here. I used to like reading Dean Kuntz back in the day. Um, probably just because of his name, Dean Kuntz. But uh, I don't have it in there. So, But if you look up Dean Kuntz, uh, conspiracy theories regarding COVID-19, it's in there. Just check it out. Uh, it's all over the place. There's so many conspiracy theories about this thing. It's absolutely nuts. But what I know is the reality of things. It's like the fucking dead. Uh, the fucking walking dead. That's what it is right now. And we used to make fun of Dave. Dave who's in the chat box about what's happening. What was happening in Australia with the toilet paper. Of, you know a few weeks ago. And now look at this. Every time that I go into a store. No TP. As a matter of fact the plan was. You know, like fuck it. We gotta go do the uh, do the do. We'll just walk into a restaurant and just do it. Go into the bathroom, use their TP. But you can't even do that now. There is no dining at restaurants. I, I just feel so angry. I could yell. <laughs> That's all I could do. Uh, it's just completely madness. Uh, by the way, uh, the launch of the shop. What is it? Uh, what is it? Shop the Dark Horde. Dot com. Shop the Dark Horde. I think that's what the name of it is. I kind of we're running a uh, a store, and you guys should check it out. Right now, there is a Roswell 2020 code for a discount. Let me tell you, I'm going to be the first one to say, shopping for anything other than uh, toilet paper and cans of tuna are not on my mind right now. But what I can say is that that code is going to be on there until July when the fucking Roswell gets canceled too and I don't get to go there. Um, but beside all of that, the code will be on there. I want to say it's like a ten percent off or whatever or something like that. I'm probably going to increase that pretty soon. Just gotta get some more merchandise in there, more things, more branded things, more UFO Bolster Radio related things. Uh, just to, you know, just to mix it up. But that's coming. I'm actually on the move, and that goes back to my statement back at the beginning of the podcast. I'm moving from uh, to a new home this weekend. So that's why the uh, Dark Horse podcast is not going to happen this weekend. If I can get all the equipment together, it might happen on Sunday. Uh, but I will not have my fingers crossed because I'll be out hunting for toilet paper and uh, and vodka, to be honest. Uh, that's going to take priority, unfortunately, like many of you, right? That's the way it is. Ronnie says we have a one to four pack TP limit here. I don't know if he's talking about uh, in his own house. Because, Rodney, there's no toilet paper anywhere. Come on. Stop fucking around. Let's be honest. TP doesn't exist. Nowhere. We got to go back to diapers. Everyone's going to wear fucking adult diapers. 
That really is the best thing for you to do. Get a towel, wrap that shit up, and be good. That's why they did it in the old days. If this is the end of the podcast. Uh, Manny Moonraker is checking out. I figure with the doom and gloom, we need something heroic to play on the way out. Also, next week, all of the next week, every single track that I play is going to be dedicated to Green Man's group, uh, Gen One and Gen Two. So you get ready because there is some crazy music coming your way all of next week. But in the meantime, uh, we're gonna we're gonna head out with a like a juggernaut. Because we're not bending over to COVID-19. Not now, not ever.